Good morning, YouTubers. You have reached the Brian Sledge channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Uh, thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye. Obama freaks as Den Bong Ina reveals why liberals refuse to use the word spy. Former President Barack Obama has a new reason to freak out after former Secret Service agent Dan Bongina revealed why liberals refuse to use the word spy as the Spygate scandal grows. You don't want to miss this. In recent weeks, the Spygate scandal has filled the headlines of nearly every major news outlet after it was discovered that the FBI planted at least one spy in or around President Donald Trump's campaign during the 2016 election. The debate over Barack Obama's connection to the FBI's decision to spy on the Trump campaign is raging on, and Bongino is calling out liberals who won't label the person planted by the FBI as a spy. Bongino appeared on Fox News Fox and Friends on Monday, May 28, 2018, where he laid it all out for viewers after host Griff Jenkins asked him one glaring question about former President Barack Obama and his presence during the Spygate scandal. Where was President Obama? What do you say? He asked Bongino. This question was a big juicy fastball right up the middle for Bongino who was ready to hit it out of the park. You know, I've been itching to get this out there. Let me explain to you from an insider's perspective, from someone who's worked in law enforcement. I've had interactions with intelligence often and these types of things, Bongino began. Next. Bongino slammed liberals with the real reason they won't use the word spy. It turns out, it's all really just a favor of sorts to keep Obama from looking like the criminal that he truly is. The reason they are dancing around this spy versus informant narrative is precisely because of what you just asked Griff, the role of Obama. Let me explain this to you quickly. Spy would mean it was someone from the outside inserted or designed to interact with the campaign to get information meaning someone told them to do it, Bongino continued, according to Daily Caller. Bongino went on to explain that if the liberal and the mainstream media were to use the word spy, it would mean they are actually helping to implicate their beloved Obama in a crime. Although it's very likely Obama had a direct role in the Spygate scandal, a liberal would never want to admit it. An informant would have been someone inside the operation that saw something negative and wanted to come out and speak about it. That's why they are not using the word spy. Precisely because it implicates Obama who put him from the outside into the Trump campaign, Bongino declared. Notably, former Director of National Intelligence James Clapper recently said that Obama had no knowledge of the FBI's spy planted to gather intelligence on the Trump campaign. Not surprisingly, Clapper made the remarks during an interview on CNN. I am sure President Obama had no knowledge whatsoever of an informant, Clapper said, adding that the FBI has many informants who play various roles within the department who provide very valuable information and do so in a legitimate way, Clapper claimed. Months ago on Twitter, President Donald Trump included Clapper on a short list of DC's biggest liars and leakers. Little Adam Schiff, who is desperate to run for higher office, is one of the biggest liars and leakers in Washington, right up there with Comey, Warner, Brennan, and Clapper. Adam leaves closed committee hearings to illegally leak confidential information. Must be stopped. Trump wrote. Clapper also drew a mountain of criticism for recently claiming that, if the FBI did plant an informant in Trump's campaign, that it was a good thing. The reality here is that Clapper and his liberal Kool-Aid drinkers want to downplay the tremendous criminal activity which took place under the Obama administration. Barack Obama and his henchmen have been caught with their pants down, and it's time for them to pay the price. In my opinion, liberals can refuse to use the word spy all the way up until Obama administration officials, including former FBI Director James Comey, are handcuffed and led away. It makes no difference. As the saying goes, a rose by any other name would smell as sweet, but in this case, a spy by any other name would be just as criminal, criminal.